What's good, gamers? Welcome back to Fizzy MTG, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Nature of the Beast, another battle deck from Card Kingdom. This one is mono green. Battle decks are ready to play 60 card decks built on a theme or archetype. The forest is crawling with beasts. Will you master them or be devoured by the pack? Nature of the Beast is a mono green deck that only uses spells. The deck plays tons of ramp spells that allow it to quickly overrun the board with a menagerie of creature tokens that only uses spells. That's interesting. I mean, creatures are still considered spells. It doesn't mean like they're all sorceries. Uh, but I'm assuming that means uh, something. <laughs> we shall see it. it interesting for sure. We got two beast tokens. Good to know. Very cool. Very thematic with this one and the vampire one. That's cool. All right. Now, I'm assuming these are not... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to have to... Uh, now, this should be all forest, so it should be pretty easy. Easily set up here. So, we're going to just go through and find all that and hopefully get them all and not have a repeat of last time where we uh, we missed the guild gate. <laughs> but it can happen. It's all good. It's all good. Not a problem, honestly. Nice little forest there, trying to hide, trying to give me that repeat of last time. Exactly what I don't want to happen. <laughs> Bam. Done. All right. Now, the question is, will it be 24? 24 seems to be the magic number for most decks. It is green. There is ramp available, so it not necessarily, but we'll see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Is it actually 23 or did I miss the forest? We're going to find out. Leave your comments uh, or leave your, leave your best guess in the comments below. We're going to zoom on in here. Ba -ba 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 and see what we got. We got a call of the herd. It's a three drop sorcery. Create a 3-3 three, three green elephant creature token with flashback. That's very nice. Flashback is you can pay three and a green and cast this spell from your graveyard. Very nice. Faded intervention. It's a five drop. Put two 3-3 three, three green centaur enchantment creature tokens onto the battlefield. If it's your turn, scratch. Ooh, very nice. It's an instant. Yeah, very nice. Uh... Bestial Menace. Put a 1-1 one, one green snake creature token, a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token, and a 3-3 three, three green elephant creature token onto the battlefield. Nice. This is Mouth and Feed, or Mouth to Feed, I guess. Create a 3-3 three, three green hippo creature token for 3 mana, or you can pay 4 mana and you can feed. which has Aftermath, cast a spell... Only from your graveyard, so you have to do mouth and then feed. Very nice. Or discard it. Draw a card for each creature you control with power three or greater. That doesn't seem like it'd be too hard in this deck, honestly. Uh, Ranger's Path, it's a four drop. Uh, search your library for up to two forests. Put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Ramp. Wildest Dreams, XX Green. Very interesting. Return X cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile, Wildest Dreams. Guardian Idol. It's a two drop. Very cool. Guardian Idol enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, pay one. Uh, or oh, sorry. Tap. Add one to your mana pool. Or you can pay two. Guardian Idol becomes a 2-2 two -two golem artifact creature until the end of turn. Aha. Uh -huh, so I am noticing this is only spells. There, or at least it seems to be so far. I don't see any creatures yet. Uh, it seems like we make creatures with tokens, which is actually really interesting. Manifest the top card of your library, then put an X-1-1 one, one counters on it. To manifest a card, put it onto the battlefield face down as a 2-2 two, two creature. Turn it face up for any time for its mana cost if it's a creature card, which uh, in this deck doesn't seem like it has any, so that's pretty cool. Nissa's Renewal. It's a six drop. Search your library for up to three basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tap. Then shuffle your library. You gain seven life. Dang. Guardian Idol, another one of those, another mouth to feed. Uh, Ranger's Path, Bray Upon, Bray Upon, target creature fights... Target creatures, target creatures you control fight target creatures you don't control. Very useful. Guardian Idol. Guardian Idol. Wild Call. Wild Call. Ranger's Path. I can speak. <laughs> Howl of the Night Pack. This used to be in uh, my big boy's deck. It's a really nice. Seven drop. Put a 2-2 two -two wolf creature token onto the battlefield for each forest you control, <laughs> which is at least seven. <laughs> Just to cast it, typically. 
Uh, Faded Intervention, another one of those, which we did read, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on about, yeah, Scry. Prey upon, prey upon, wild call, druid's deliverance. Prevent all combat damage that will be dealt to you this turn. Populate, create a token that's a copy of a creature token that you control. <laughs> Very good. Faded Intervention, another one that's called the herd. Prey upon, overcome. This is a five drop. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and, ha and gain trample to the end of turn. Good lord. Druid's Deliverance, Mouth, Defeat, uh, Howl the Night Pack, and Ranger's Path. So, this is all spells, so that was important. Uh, so, here's here's your win con, guys. You want to get a ton of big tokens on the field, pump them up with this, give them trample, and then just attack with everything. <laughs> and just win. That's insane. Uh, that's pretty cool. There's not a single creature in this deck. Not a single one. And yet, once again, similar to Shri uh, Sinister Shrines, it doesn't need them for a different reason. In this case, it's because it creates creatures with the spell's effect. So that's really cool. I love decks that do that kind of stuff or that do just interesting things like that. One of these days, I'm going to create a really weird uh, spells-only deck for you guys, and you can leave your thoughts on that as well. Uh, also, if you have any challenges for... Uh, any kind of decks you want to see me try to build, uh, let me know. And if there's a format for a way you'd like to see me build it as well, if you have any ideas for that, like video-wise, uh, I'd be very interested to hear because uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I need to do some of these. I really don't know. But that's it for this one, guys. Very quick, very nice. I'm kind of glad because I'm almost done with the bulk recording for now. Uh, you guys should have plenty of videos. I mean, well, at this point, this is probably near the end of them if I scheduled them in order, which I don't know if I will. We'll see. But depending on how I schedule these, you guys either still have a lot to look forward to or uh, you guys have seen a lot of videos come out in the last little bit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, probably not a ton because it would be like two a week most likely. But at this point, we've been going for a while probably. If I'm doing these in order, I don't know. I don't know what the order was anymore, so probably not going to be exactly. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, comment, consider subscribing, all that good junk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I, I love making these. They're super fun. Uh, if you think someone you know might enjoy them, consider sharing it with them. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later. Yeah.